over the mountains. I guess all of us have now to Seattle. So you are Seattle based now? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, we were scattered about the area. However, you are not one of the so-called new Seattle bands. You've actually been around um, since, what, 84? Around 84, 85. We're broken down old Northwest band, I guess. <laughs> so old, in fact, that I feel like I'm sliding off my chair right about now. <laughs> and it's also worth pointing out that you were actually signed to a major label, BN, before Nirvana. BN. 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 About a year BN, I think. About a year BN. You guys nearly broke up just after you recorded your first major label album, Uncle Anesthesia. Tell us about that. It was a sad, sad story. It was, uh, our drummer, Mark Pickerel, decided that he'd had enough and he decided to get out while he could. Well, the getting was good. And uh, then I took off, went and played with Dinosaur for a little while, came back. And uh, we all got together and decided to make another record. Which is Sweet Oblivion. And right now we're going to take a look at the first video. This is Nilly Lost You from Screaming Trees. Rodeo Grounds in Ellensburg. In your hometown? Yeah. And that video is off the album Sweet Oblivion. It's also on the soundtrack for the movie Singles. Now, do you guys think Singles is a fairly accurate representation of, of Seattle in the Northeast scene? Have you seen the movie? I haven't seen it. Did you? No, I haven't seen it. <laughs> did Lee you saw make it. a decision not to see it? No, no I just, I just we've been chance. really busy. Lee went right. to the premiere of it in New York or something, and, but we've been doing other stuff, so haven't had a chance. Plus, back home, I only go to the $2 theater, so. Mm -hmm. It's just too dang expensive. All right, Screaming Trees are here. We'll be talking more with them in the second 60 of MTV's uh, song on the Velvet minutes. Underground compilation album. Were the Velvets a big influence for you? Perhaps not the most obvious listening to the new album, Sweet Oblivion. It's probably the one band that we all liked, but maybe not so much of an influence. You know, it's just a band that we enjoyed. What are some of the other influences, would you say? Pretty much anything, you know, uh, any music that's recorded that we can get, <laughs> <laughs> anything. I mean, name it. That's uh, probably one of them. Yeah, go ahead. Name something. Try it. Lulu. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I loved her in uh, To Serve With Love. To Serve With Love? Where nice. did you guys actually meet? Um, we met in actually a high school First, we met in study hall class. Mm -hmm. That was the first time I saw Mark. He walked into my study hall. And he saw me before once, much earlier, but uh, study hall. And then we we both just happened to skip the first day of school one day. And uh, we both got stuck sitting at the teacher's desk because we missed the first day. And that was how we met. And we spent the rest of the school year trying to acquire pens and paper from the rest of the students. So. It was a good time. <laughs> and how did your brother get involved in the band? Was that after you two started working together? His mom forced us to have a brother in the band. Yeah, we had our first practice. It was Mark and I and Mark Pickerel, our drummer. And uh, we didn't have a bass player, but we just figured, oh, well, we don't need a bass player. We'll just be, I guess we would end up being like Beat Happening or something like mm. that. But. Mark Pickerel is no longer the drummer in Screaming Trees, right? Right. He left right after Uncle Anastasia. And your new guy is? Barrett Martin, former skin yard drummer. And uh, he seems to be working out just fine. OK, well, you guys are working hard. You're on tour right now. And you're heading out with Alice in Chains a little later on this year? In about a month, I think. About a month. OK, well, good luck with that. Thanks very much for coming by. Thank you. Thanks for having us. And uh, we're going to take a look at a video from the last Screaming Trees album, Uncle Anesthesia. This is Bed of Roses.